Welcome everybody. Uh, we're ready for some more fights here in the heavyweight tournament using the Legends of Boxing PC. Uh, we're in the round of 128. Uh, we've had some mismatches so far um, in the second round or this round of 128. But uh, we've had, had some decent fights so far. We're looking for that uh, that one that will really stand out though. But uh, might have it in this bunch. I don't know. We'll see. I've got a couple that uh, I'm really uh, kind of happy or excited to, s to see play out. Let's head to the ring and check it out. Up first, Ozzy Ocasio taking on Charlie Retzlaff. And both these guys won their first round fights in the uh, preliminary rounds. Acasio 23, 13 and 1 with 12 knockouts out of Santurce, Puerto Rico. Um, his defense is slightly better than uh, Rutzlaff. Um, as far as He'll also have the slight edge in control, as Retzlaff does not pl fight very well against tactical fighters, and that's what Ocasio is. Uh, durability, slight edge to Ocasio. Chin, he's got a little better chin. So, Retzlaff, who is 61, 8 and 3, with 54 knockouts out of Duluth, Minnesota, his... Uh, hope is that he can uh, use his power against Ocasio. He's got much better power and uh, finisher. He can, if he hurts him, he's going to do a good job of finishing what he starts. Endurance-wise, though, Ocasio's got the edge there. And then Ocasio, if he gets knocked down, that's his chin goes to down three, minus three after first knockdown, so probably not a, a great fight for Ocasio here as he's, but he's, like I said, he'll still have the edge as far as control goes. We'll see how it goes. Let's head to the ring. So Ocasio opens up on the outside. Retzlaff coming right at him. Pressure mode. Round one. So Rutzlaff went right at Ocasio and Ocasio kept picking him off as he came in. And uh, Rutzlaff looked a little clumsy at times there. But uh, Ocasio did a good job in that first round. We head to round two. Uh, Ocasio stays on the outside. Rutzlaff goes to the inside. Sweet overhand right. 
Another fine round from Ocasio as he's uh, holding his own out there with Rutzlaff, boxing and not getting too uh, sloppy and letting Rutzlaff get an opening. We head to round two, or three. Round three, Rush and Ocasio stays on the outside and Rutzlaff goes to pressure. Ocasio does it again. Rutzlaff starts out strong, and Ocasio just, as he's coming inside, just kept picking him off. And Rutzlaff has to be getting a little frustrated out there. Uh, we head to round four. Ocasio stays on the outside. He's living out there while Rutzlaff tries to get inside. What a round that was. Ocasio landed a big hook that caught Rutzlaff, and that seemed to kind of get him fired up as he landed a big combination, then a hook of his own that had Ocasio hurt here at the end of the round four. But gets, gets out of the round. Rutzlaff, definitely his best round of the fight so far. We head to round five. Again, Ocasio on the outside. Rest left trying to get to the inside. Sweet overhand right. There's a lead left hook. Misses with that straight right. Coming forward, lands the right. There's a shot that lands on the chop. Down goes Ocasio. The cross catches him. Flush. He's up at eight. Let's see if Retzlaff can finish it right now. Wow. Unbelievable. Ocasio did all the scoring early in this round. And then all of a sudden, a big cross from Retzlaff knocks him to, to the canvas. And Retzlaff couldn't finish. And then Ocasio lands a huge hook at the end of the round. What a round. This crowd is on its feet. Charlie Retzlaff gets the first knockdown of the fight here in the fifth. And Ocasio's chin, his specialty trait, goes into action. His chin has a minus three after the first knockdown. 
So, does not sit well with Ocasio as we head to round six. Nice finish to the round by Charlie Retzlaff. Land some really good punches there. And Ocasio has to feel this fight start to slip away from him. We head to round seven. And now Ocasio is going to elusive mode. Retzlaff stays on the inside. Ocasio trying to get away from that powerful right hand of Charlie Retzlap. Big round for Ocasio as he went back to what got him there uh, early on as he stayed outside and just picked Retzlaff apart as he came inside. And it worked to perfection this round as Retzlaff just could not land any solid shots. So a good round for Ocasio. We head to round eight. As Retzlaff starting to tire, he is pretty exhausted and he's going to go to elusive mode. I'm guessing to take a take a round off. Ocasio on the outside. So that's round, quiet, quiet round as both fighters seem to catch their catch their breaths as we head into the round nine and like that, Retzlaff back into pressure mode. He seems to have gotten his rest. Ocasio though, staying on the outside. Here we go, round nine. Ocasio down for the second time in this fight. Eight, nine, he's up, holding onto the ropes. The referee looking him over. Will they let this continue? They will. Reslav trying to finish it right here and now. Right 
Can't do it. Bobbing and weeping, now just trying to close the gap. There's a one-two combination. There he blocks that. Unloads two jabs and goes downstairs to the midsection. Ocasio comes back strong there at the end. But it's Charlie Retzaff who knocks Ocasio down again for the second time in the fight. And we head to round 10. And Ocasio going elusive now. And Retzlaff stays in pressure mode. He senses he's got Ocasio where he wants him. Good job by Ocasio there as he was able to keep Rusloff at bay. Rusloff not very aggressive for being in pressure mode. We head to round 11. Elusive for Ocasio, pressure for Rusloff. Let's, I haven't checked to see what the ringside judge has. It's closer than, with two knockdowns, it's closer than we... I thought it would be. Ringside judge has 97.94 for Rutzlaff. Ocasio trying to hold on here. So Reslaff able to break the defense of Ocasio that round as he tagged uh, Ocasio with a couple of big hooks and a cross. And that pretty much just solidifies his lead. Ocasio's going to need a knockout, but he, with only one power, is not going to... Uh, have much of a shot at that but they're going to try it pressure mode Rhett's left we're going to keep him on the inside because who knows what the judges have yeah, maybe we should just keep him on the outside we're just going to try it like this and see what happens here Rhett's left on the inside I'll cast you on the outside Going to the cards. Ocasio with a solid round to end things. Retzlaff seemed pretty content where he stood. Let's see what the official result is. My guess, Retzlaff by unanimous decision. Let's see what the judges say. Yep, it's unanimous. 116, 113. 
115-113, and 116-114 for the winner by unanimous decision, Charlie Retzlaff. So Retzlaff with two knockdowns, that's what pretty much has won him the fight. Look how even it was punch point wise. If it wasn't for those knockdowns, this might have been a lot, uh, would have been a lot closer. I mean, they both had almost equal TKO points. Wrestling actually had more. Great fight from these two. Wasn't expecting that great of a fight, but it turned out to be a good one. So Retzlaff will advance to the next round with that big unanimous decision victory. Next up, Jolton Joe Frazier. Smoking Joe Frazier, I should say. Jolton Joe. That's DiMaggio. Smoking Joe Frazier out of Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. 32 wins, 4 losses, 1 draw. 27 of those 32 wins by knockout. One of the all-time greats. Taking on Leon Spinks. 26 wins, 17 losses, 3 draws. 14 knockouts out of St. Louis, Missouri. Frazier will definitely have the edge in most categories, including power, uh, defense, control, chin, cut, will, TKO, finisher. He's pretty much got the edge in everything. Endurance. And uh, Spinks has a specialty trait where his power is no drain at level one fatigue so his power will stay at three let's see how he fares against the powerful joe frazier look at this they're both coming out it's pressure mode we could have some early fireworks So Frazier comes out and imposes his will against Spinks, landing a nice double hook that really shook Spinks, but Spinks did a good, good job. He didn't seem too phased by those shots and landed a couple of his own. We head to round two. Both fighters going to the inside. Smoking Joe really landing that hook. It's going to not be long before Spinks starts to feel the effects. That last one at the end of the round had Spinks stumbling to his corner. He had him hurt. That might have been the end, the beginning of the end. If fight would have been, the round would have been a little longer. We head to round three. Frazier goes to the inside. Pressure for Leon Spinks.
Adams and goes downstairs to the midsection. Nice round for both fighters. A good action round. As a couple nice combinations from Spinks. Scored very well against Frazier. We head to round four. Again, Frazier on the inside. Pressure for Leon Spinks. So Leon Spinks caught Frazier with a big shot and that seemed to anger him as he comes back strong here in round four and lands a couple huge hooks. Spinks starting to slow a little bit. We head to round five. Frazier on the inside again. Spinks back in pressure mode. Pretty quiet round there. Neither fighter was as nearly as aggressive as they were in the first four rounds. We we're going to head to round six. And now level one fatigue for Leon Spinks. But his chin or his power will not go down on level one fatigue. More of the same, Smoke and Joe stays on the inside. And Leon Spinks will stay in pressure mode. Good round from Smoke and Joe. As Spinks starting to fade now. We head to round seven. Still, Frazier on the inside. Spinks in pressure mode. Oh, there's a 
So Spinks was carrying that round and tagging Frazier, but Frazier unleashed his hellacious left hook that flew Spinks back into the ropes as the bell sounded. That, again, that's the second time Frazier has done that. Whereas he hurts Spinks right at the end of the round. We are going to go to round eight. Frazier going to the outside and Spinks staying in pressure mode. So round eight is in the books, and Frazier was content on countering Spinks out there on the outside. And did a good job. And now he's going to stay out there, and Spinks stays in pressure mode. I think he's stuck on pressure. Big hook from Frazier. This time at the start of the round has Spinks hurt and he just wouldn't let up until the referee stops this fight here in round nine. The winner by TKO at 110 of round nine, Spoken Joe Frazier. Frazier with an impressive victory. Landed some big power shots in this. Uh, fight and uh, was in control the entire way. He was up big on all three cards. An impressive, powerful victory for Smoke and Joe. Up next, one of the fights I was looking forward to Oscar Bonavania versus Buddy Bear. Two sluggers slugging it out. Bonavania, 58 wins, nine losses, one draw. 44 knockouts out of Buenos Aires, Argentina. His defense, both defenses, this is going to be a br brutal affair. Power, slight edge to bear. Uh, chin, though. Bonavania has that. Edge on cuts. Will, TKO. Endurance. He has the edge there. Bonavania's got really good endurance. And neither fighter has any specialty traits. So we'll fight this one. And let's head to the ring. Let's get ready to rumble! Bonavania on the inside. Bear on the inside. Two sluggers going out at Bear 51 and 7. 47 knockouts. He's out of Denver, Colorado. Here we go. There's a lead left hook. Oh, and a nice right hook there. Right hand connects. Right hand connects. Right hand scores. Bonavania comes out 
and he's definitely the more active fighter in round one here as he scores with some uh, big punches, a nice cross, and a big uppercut at the end of the round that uh, backed Buddy Bear up. We head to round two. Bonavania goes to the inside, and Bear is going to go to pressure mode. Another solid round for Oscar Bonavegna. Buddy Bears did bust open Bonavegna's nose as he started to see a trickle of blood come from his nose. But it was all Bonavegna for the most part. We have yet to see, though, any of these fighters land a really big shot yet. That's only time will tell. Uh, Bonavania stays on the inside. Buddy Bear now going to the outside. Wow, what a round. We talked about the heavy shots not landing so far, but both fighters landing big blows in this one. Early it was Bonavania with a huge hook. And then landed a couple big, more big shots before Bear caught Bonavania with a cross. And then another one that had Bonavania stumbled back. It looked like he had him hurt pretty bad and uh, but uh, Bonavania lands an uppercut at the end of the round to prove that he's he's fine as he head back to his corner looking behind him telling uh, Bear bring it bring it so a huge round for both fighters we head to round four Bonavania on the inside Bear in the pressure mode Again. Misses with that straight right. Just missed that lunge you left hook. Did you see how close that was? Oh, and a nice right hook right ahead. Oh, and gets jacked on the jaw again, but eats the punch. Right hand connects. Sweet overhand right. Buddy Bear again gets just uh, clocked early in the round, but comes back and lands one of those crosses again that had Bonavania a little jelly legged. And Bear finishes the round strong, is unable to take out Bonavania.
back to back really good rounds we head to round five and now it's Bonavinia's time to go pressure and Bear goes to the outside For Oscar Bonavania, he he had Buddy Bear on his last leg. Buddy Bear exhausted. Just throwing punch after punch and connecting. Buddy Bear unable to stop him. And now Bear goes into level one fatigue. And Bonavania is still fresh. We head to round six. Both fighters on the inside. Right hand scores. Oh, there's a step in right hand. There's a lead left hook. A nice one to cover. Bonavania, Buddy Bear trading shots left and right. Bear with a couple big uppercuts. And Bonavania had a chance to end the fight, but Buddy Bear just kept, uh, it looked like he wasn't going to uh, protect himself. Then all of a sudden he'd land a couple shots. So we head to round seven. Bonavania on the inside. Bear on the outside. Sweet overhand right. Coming forward, lands the right. Unloads two jabs and goes downstairs to the pits. There's a lead left hook. So Bonavania keeps uh, attacking and Bear keeps absorbing shot after shot. Bear landed a couple big shots himself, but there's no pop in his punch right now. We head to round seven. Round eight, I'm sorry. Let's check the ringside judge. I'm guessing it's a pretty big lead for Bonavania. Yep, 69-63, six rounds to one in favor of Bonavania. And Buddy Bear senses that as he goes into pressure mode. Bonavania stays on the inside. Sweet overhand right. Oh, and a nice right hook. 
upstairs to the midsection. There's a lead left hook. Buddy Bear keeps coming. That was a round win for him, I'm sure, as he kept the pressure on Bonavania. Level three fatigue for Buddy Bear. His chin now down to a four. Power drops to a four. And now Bonavania senses he's got Bear where he wants him here in round nine. He goes into pressure mode. Bear on the inside. Bonavania lands a straight right and bears down nine. He's up at nine. Referee's going to let him continue. Good exchange for these two fighters. Oh, and that left hand. There's a one-two combination. Wow, what a punch. Down again, Bear. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And Bear's up at eight. Is the referee going to let him continue? He is. Sweet overhand right. Oh, and a nice right over there. There's a one-two combination. Right hand connects. Down again for the third time. Buddy Bear scrambling to get up. He does, but the referee looks, I think this is over, folks. He's got to stop the fight. He does. Oscar Bonavania with a big three knockdown round nine, and he wins this by TKO 221 of round nine. Oscar Bonavania, the winner. What a fight. That was just as a, what we thought, lots of power on display. And Bonavania, just relentless. Buddy Bear, uh, unfortunately, ran into a strong, hard-headed uh, Argentinian who had his number. Look at that, 25 to nothing in round nine, just unleashed holy hell on Buddy Bear and wins it huge huge TKO win that's it from here up coming up Lou Bailey taking on Ed Tutal Jones Ernie Terrell taking on Jerry Coetzee and the 24th ranked heavyweight Ray Mercer will be taking on Johnny Arthur Kenny Norton also coming up Wow, how did Ken Norton get rated below uh, Ray Mercer? Francesco Damiani. So that's it from here. Thanks for watching. We'll see you for the next round of fights. Have a great day.